Uber and Lyft quickly celebrate Prop 22's passage in California, but quickly turn to eyeing other states as well as a federal level. Hey everyone, Chris here for the Rideshare Guy. And today we're gonna to be talking about how quick Uber and Lyft celebrated the passage of Prop 22 in California, but quickly moved their sites to other key states that have AB5-like legislation either on the books or becoming something that could be on the books and taking the fight which could be to them or try to pass something on a national level. And that's what we're gonna be talking about right now. So it was a very short celebration for Uber and Lyft, although they are reaping many benefits, like their stock price is going up for both companies, but they are after a long, hard battle with a quick celebration now eyeing other states that have AB5-like legislation already on the books or possibly coming on the books very soon. So these states include New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and they also may be looking on a federal level to try to instill Prop 22 as a third classification for workers, which aren't really independent contractors and aren't really employees, but somewhere in between. And this is something that Uber's CEO had talked about in an op-ed in the New York Times just a few months ago. So for those who don't know what is going on, AB5 was a law that was put into place on the books to try to create and codify the parent company and the person representing them, their type of relationship, whether it is an independent contractor or whether it's an employee-employer relationship. So that's what AB5 was. And Prop 22 was a response to AB5 to try to sidestep AB5 altogether and create a somewhat third classification of worker, even though they will remain what is termed independent contractors with certain new benefits coming on board. Now it did cost Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and a few other companies and contributors over $200 million to try to get that yes on 22. It ended up paying off and it really paid off big when it came to Uber and Lyft's market cap and their stock prices are rising because of it. So it could help fuel more and more states that could be pushing back and try to create this AB5-like legislation or something very similar to it. Now, Massachusetts is a state that already has AB5-like legislation on the books, but they haven't done anything really to try to enforce it and make it something like California was doing with their lawsuit against Uber and Lyft, trying to have drivers reclassified as employees instead of independent contractors. With Prop 22 and what happened in the state of California, Massachusetts might be looking at trying to tweak things or maybe just saying, well, we're not really going to enforce it. That's still going to be up in the air, but Uber and Lyft may be trying to pass some sort of uh, resolution or ballot initiative that is going to be very similar to Prop 22 in Massachusetts. And then they could be taking the fight to New York State, which doesn't have AB5-like legislation on the books yet, but there is a bill in both the Senate and the Assembly, which is in committee currently, and it's been sitting there since March of this year. But because of the ongoing pandemic, everything pretty much took a back burner and fell down. So it is still sitting there and hasn't made any movement. Once things get into a normal legislative session, they may be trying to pass this. And it was supposed to be something that was passed earlier this year. But again, because of the pandemic, it didn't go anywhere. So Uber and Lyft may try to act proactively in New York and put something on the books before they even have some sort of fight or even just wait but either way, they're going to be eyeing up New York State because they're kind of on that cusp, as well as other states like New Jersey. Now, New Jersey may be looking at AB5-like legislation as well, but they also hit Uber last year with a $650 million fine, and it was claimed that it was an unpaid taxes, unemployment insurance not being paid, and different things where it would have been normally paid if drivers were considered employees. So the state may be looking at drivers as employees already, and that's why they hit them with the fine. Another reason why Uber and Lyft 
will be going into and eyeing up New Jersey as well. Now, several states do not pose any sort of threat to Uber and Lyft's business model, so it is unlikely that they will have to eye any type of legislation there currently, but down the road, it is something that they may have to look at. So whether they're going to try to go state by state, which will cost them a lot more money, or they could try and take it federally and create some sort of third classification of driver, which would be not necessarily an employee, not necessarily the independent contractor, but somewhere in between. And it would probably be looking very similar to Prop 22, if not exactly the same. So they could try to go on a national level and create some sort of third classification working with legislators on a national level. Now, something like this would probably cost Uber and Lyft a lot of money, but less than trying to go state by state as states try to take on Uber and Lyft and create different types of laws that are very similar to AB5. Now, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on this. Do you think that a Prop 22 is going to be good to make sure that drivers remain independent contractors? Do you want to see states fight back and create some sort of AB5-like model? What do you think about all this? Because this is something that could not just affect California now, but it could affect all of the United States. So comment below, let us know. And if you like this type of content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really lets us know what type of content you enjoy. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do because there's new videos every single week coming out that deal within the rideshare industry, how to make more money as a driver and different news and information for you as drivers. All right, everyone, drive safe.